The placement of health and nutri nutrient claims in the front of food packaging has increased rapidly in recent years. The question is, are all these claims reliable? Alyssa Rainbolt reports. No trans fat, extra light, healthy options. It may be tempting to trust these appealing front of package claims, but check the facts before you buy in. As part of its new front of package labeling initiative, the Food and Drug Administration is cracking down on food manufacturers for misleading health and nutrient claims on the front of their packages. And food companies, they will, you know, they're marketing, so they will kind of take advantage and, and kind of push it to the limit any claim they can make. So if you open the door and let them make some of those claims, I'm, I'm afraid it'd be uh, all kinds of claims on the front of those packages. On March 3rd, the FDA sent 17 warning letters to food manufacturers for misleading claims on a total of 22 products. Seven of the violations deal with fat content, like Dibs ice cream snacks. The product claims to have zero grams of trans fat, but doesn't warn consumers about the high amount of total fat. Others, like Palm Wonderful Pomegranate Juice, claim to treat or mitigate disease, but only drugs can make such claims. The effort is led by FDA Commissioner Dr. Margaret Hamburg. Because of the growing rate of obesity and diet-related disease, Hamburg has made reliable nutrition information for consumers a top priority. Consumers like Margie Walbridge. I've been aware of the fact that, you know, there are a lot of misleading labels and claims that they make on the front of the packages. So you really do want to know what to look for on the back label. While the initiative for reliable front of package labeling is underway, Glenn urges consumers to turn the package around and read the nutrition label on the back. Don't ever base your purchase on the words on the front of the package because um, you know, that's a way to get you attracted to the product and the labels actually will have what's truly in there. And so I think if you pay attention to the labels and ingredients, but especially the labels, then, uh, then you won't get fooled. Alyssa Rainbolt, KUJH TV News. Yeah.